Hello and good evening YouTube. Hope that you are doing great and you have been watching all the videos about the amazing city of Dubai that we have been posting on this channel. And if you are doing that, I would love from you to subscribe, hit the like button and share with your friends and family who are interested in buying properties or renting properties in the amazing city of Dubai. So in this, this video is going to be special. Why? Because toward the end of the video, we will have an announcement uh, that is changing in one way or another the the channel and uh, but the same content will be on the channel the same quality if not higher will be on this channel in this video mainly I wanted to discuss what the current situations globally how is it affecting the real estate market in Dubai how is it reflecting on the transactions amount and what are the latest releases and where is the perfect opportunity for investing or uh, buying a home for your own uh, living. So stay tuned, subscribe and let's start this video. In the past few weeks, there have been so many events happening in the Middle East uh, region. And there have been so much news going on about what's going on in the Middle East region. Economically, what is, affect, uh, is it going to affect the investment that is running right now in the Middle East? Is it going to affect specifically the investment that is in uh, UAE? And specifically more, the investment in real estate in Dubai. Uh, there have been so many news coming from different media outlets about that Dubai is slowing down, Dubai boom is uh, flattening, Dubai, 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 and everyone is trying to spread bad news, or I would not say I would say negative news, not bad news. Let's say negative news about the real estate market in Dubai, and they are make trying to make the people like ah okay be afraid about investing in Dubai, and even the the transactions of uh, like. Uh, the transaction of uh, real estate properties is still increasing in the currently in the market it's uh, we we are still witnessing a huge demand we are still witnessing a lot of investment we are still witnessing new releases and the, no none of the developers are slowing down so what's going on why this is happening and what's the reasons for the negative news to be spread about uh, the, some of the negative news to be spread about the real estate market in Dubai. In this video, we will be analyzing in detail what's the reason of this news and what's going on in the market and how can you, as an investor, as a normal person who wants to buy a property in Dubai, a home in Dubai, or if you want to move into Dubai, what's actually going on? We have noticed since the past two years that especially after Corona and how the European countries and even in US how they responded to the Corona crisis and how big amount of the population in Europe and in uh, in the US and Northern America they were like so tired from the different uh, policies and the fluctuation in, po uh, in policies from country to country, from day to day, from week to week. And the, uh, these different responses created uh, an answer, a huge uncertainty in the market, which led into disasters inter economically. If we look at the other side, Dubai, within six months, they put the policies, they put the rules, they try to control as much as possible the spread of the virus and they have succeeded in doing the, that and within like six to seven months Dubai started reopening and they didn't go back and close like so many other countries because the way they launched the opening or they started opening it was very organized it was studied perfectly and it didn't lead into increasing a uh, huge increase in the number of cases etc so many people now, why I'm talking about the past two years? Because I'm, I'm, that's leading into now. So many people from Europe or from the Northern America, uh, they came to Dubai during this, uh, that time. And they, because their countries are locked, they have uh, the ability to live in Dubai for some certain amount of time. They said, let's try Dubai. The sun is there, the beaches, everything is open. Let's test it out. And some, so many of them was their first time 
to be in Dubai. When they came to Dubai, they saw the level of safety, the level of cleanliness, organization, and uh, the luxury that it's the true definition of luxury uh, that you can afford in Dubai. The lifestyle that you can afford in Dubai, the safety that is available every neighborhood in Dubai, whether it's the most expensive neighborhood or the cheapest neighborhood, it's all at the same level of safety, which doesn't exist in so many countries around the world. Those people came back to their country later on and they looked at the amount of taxes that they are paying, the lack of safety that they are facing recently, the lack of the, the, the unemployment that is happening and the difficult economy that is happening in so many of the, of the countries that they came from. And they said, let me check the opportunity of finding a job in Dubai or transferring my business into Dubai. And this huge amount of money start and the capital started transferring into Dubai, started coming to Dubai. And the boom and the demand on the real estate market in Dubai started increasing every month by month. And the huge master's plans is being sold like this, like hot cake in three hours. In two weeks ago, uh, we are now in the middle of November, two or three weeks ago, if uh, I remember correctly, the Mac, a massive developer here in Dubai, they have launched uh, the Mac Casa, which was like an icon, a pearl in the middle of uh, in the middle of Knowledge Village, uh, close to Dubai Marina, with the view, amazing view, into the Palm uh, Palm Jumeirah, uh, Burj Al Arab, and uh, Dubai Eye, fantastic water views. All of this was sold for around one billion dirham in two and a half hours. So many people, they say, ah, oh, this, uh, this is media, this is, try getting a house there right now. It's not media, the Mac is an investment. It's a company that is selling product, which is real estate, and they want to sell you, but they sold out, two and a half hours, gone. One billion dirham. It's like a world record, guys. That's what so many people, they don't get like, why, why what's going on? Because, in terms of apartment, when you are buying an apartment off plan right now in Dubai and through the history of Dubai, when you are buying an apartment, you are expecting between 20 to 25 percent capital appreciation. You're expecting between eight to sometimes 12 percent return on investment. And I'm talking in not so optimistic uh, cases. I'm talking in normal cases when the market is normal. It's not like booming. So many people who bought villas and townhouses, they have made 100% capital appreciation within a period of two and a half to three years when the, when the property is off plan until it's ready. Uh, Mr. Hussein Sejwani, the owner of the Mac in Davos, uh, he, was, uh, he was discussing that we looked into the chances of investing in Europe and we were considering um, some of the Scandinavian, one of the Scandinavian country and also Germany. And he said, I was work, I was uh, there checking some buildings and trying to get to know more about the countries and how they are building, what amenities they are having in their buildings. And he said, when I was in Norway and I was asking if the building ha has a pool, everyone was looking at me like, surprisingly, like what? The, like, I would say the cheapest building in Dubai, the cheapest building in Dubai will have at least a pool and a moderate gym. Any property that right now off plan available will have at least pool, gym, jogging track, uh, barbecue area, uh, kids play area. And, and this is like the minimum I'm talking. If I will talk into the medium and the high ranking, then you will have a cinema, you will have a valet, you will have a more luxurious lobby than so many five stars hotels. That's what we are talking about in Dubai. And that's what the people are coming here and finding it like. And I'm getting it in the end in an affordable price. We are talking about like studios starting from $150,000 in luxurious building, in high, high end uh, materials, mar Italian marbles, German appliances, this is what we are talking in, about in Dubai. And extreme level of safety. This 
is what is attracting the people from Europe, from North America into Dubai. So the reason for some of the negative news that is coming up right now is to prevent as much as possible from the big capital from immigrate, uh, of uh, investment to immigrate into Dubai. But people who are investing big amount of money, they know, they have their people on the ground. They, they read in between the lines, they understand that. But for the general public, for the people who are in their first investment or in second investment, and they are a bit afraid, and they are a bit worried, what will happen to my investment, etc. I'm here to tell you that Dubai always, in any circumstances, in any issues that faced this region, Dubai was always like a shining star. And I'm not because I am selling property in Dubai, but this is the reality of what's going on in Dubai, guys. This, what's happening right now, didn't affect Dubai at all. We still have new launches. We still have very secured uh, communities. We still have, uh, everything is running smoothly. The, the developers are still launching properties and it's being sold like this because there is demand. And still, the luxury segment of real estate is one of the fastest growing segments in the real estate market. Still, the highest appreciating uh, products right now in the markets are townhouses, villas, and most importantly, luxury mansions or big villas. This is what is in demand right now in Dubai because there is big amounts of money that is coming here to open businesses, to hire people, to invest with almost zero taxes. Expo, when it happened two years ago, the government that of UAE, which hosted in Expo, I think around 194 countries, something like this, each country has its own pavilion. The government of Dubai and the UAE in general, they were visiting all of these pavilions and explaining to them about the ease of opening business in Dubai and how fast you can open business in Dubai and how fast you can start working in Dubai. Everything here, we have it automated, online and quickly registered. Always you have someone to support you in case you don't know how to do something. And that's why I wanted to discuss also today that so many of my clients, they, are telling, they, they have questions about like, I want to transfer my kids here into school, etc. We are helping them with that. We are guiding them with like each area, what schools are around it, which curriculums they are teaching in there, and they are IB certified or different type of certification for that schools, and what's the level of these schools. Number two, so many of my clients are saying, Muhammad, I'm planning to open business, etc., etc., etc. Do you know what documentation I need, etc.? We have very trusted companies that we are working with that their own job is to open businesses here in the UAE. And they have so many different sectors of business setup that is like, for example, if you are opening something related to finance, that's a different setup. If you are opening something related to telecommunication, that's a different setup. If you are opening IT, if you are opening crypto, uh, crypto chain or blockchain technologies, it's different setup. So they have their expert in every type of industry, in every type of business setup. That's also we are helping our client with, and that's all for free. We are not asking our clients to pay us any extra dirham. Adding to that, that when the client is like when any investor is or uh, an end user is buying a property in Dubai from the developer, you are not paying any taxes on it. You are paying only the registration fee and that's only one time. And when you get the appreciation, which range between 50% capital appreciation into sometimes 100% on the paid amount of uh, the property price, you pay zero taxes on the appreciation, unlike 90% of the countries around the world. Around the world, you get, you buy the property for 1 million, you want to sell it for 1.4, you pay taxes on that for uh, uh, 400,000. Here in Dubai, that doesn't exist. The buyer will pay the registration fee again under their name, which is 4% of the uh, transaction value, and that's it. So all of these factors 
is leading more and more people into Dubai. Some people they are saying, ah, oh, uh, I, I read it, uh, I read it in uh, Bloomberg that the Russians are now cooling down and they are not uh, like they are uh, lowering the amount that they are investing in Dubai, which is normal because we had a period where there was a lot of people investing. And at the same time, right now, we have the period of holidays. We have the period of people taking vacations, which they are not running and looking for apartments and etc. And we have the period where the ruble trans uh, transactional rate into the dirham is not doing so well. So of course there will be ups and downs in one certain nationality investing in Dubai. But they want us to understand that some of this media outlets that is trying to spread negative news about Dubai, that it's only certain nationality or certain section of Europe that is buying properties in Dubai and whenever the, uh, the war there is finished, there will be no more uh, transactions from that nationality. It's wrong because we know that between the top 10 nationalities is one of the biggest European countries. We're talking about Germany, we're talking about France, we're talking about UK, Italy, Spain. All of those people are investing in Dubai. It, the, the, the news from China about the investment in real estate is not, is not doing so well. So we are expecting so many uh, Chinese investors to bring big capital and invest in Dubai as well. And they already started. We're, and the, the nice thing about Dubai right now, that any person can enter into Dubai land department and check in details the amount of transactions per week in terms of number of transactions and in terms of value of transactions. There is nothing hidden right now. It's super transparent and every transaction in every community, you can check. You can check even sometimes, it depends if it's off plan or uh, secondary market, you can check that apartment in specific, the one bedroom in that tower, how much it was sold for. So you know if you are buying in a good price or in a bad price. Now. Very important point, let's skip all this and I hope that all of you understand me right now why I'm super excited always about asking my lovely clients to come and invest in Dubai. It's not only because I'm working in real estate, because Dubai city was super rewarding for me, a person who stayed in Dubai for the past 10 years. My journey in Dubai was super rewarding. I cannot say that the beginning was easy, you will hear that in a different video, but work hard, you get highly rewarded in Dubai. This city, the more you work, the more you get. The smarter you are in your investment, the more you get. Of course, many countries has the same thing, but adding to that safety, security, no taxes, ease of opening business, and all of these that we spoke about. Now, let's say, Mohammed, we we, we agreed to uh, invest in Dubai. Where to invest in Dubai? Ready property or off-plan property? How is the market looking right now? Okay, and what type of property shall we invest? Of course, these questions, we are asking our clients a set of questions to understand their needs in the best way so we can customize solutions. We don't have a list of property that we always recommend to every client. You want apartment? Okay, you have one, two, three. You want uh, villa? You have one, two, three. No, it doesn't work like this. Why? Because I'm not a person who's opening a brochure and reading it and running around and trying to sell from this brochure. And this is not the way that my agents and my company work at all. What we do is we analyze the requirements of the client. We analyze the areas for the best income and the best uh, capital appreciation. And then we recommend to our clients based on their requirements. We even go to the limit to what sport do you like to, uh, to play in majority of your activity times. If you are a golfer, then we focus on the golf communities. If you like swimming and if you like outdoor activities and you have kids who enjoy splash pads and etc., we focus on communities that has lagoon. Or if you are even investing in, a, in an apartment, we focus on a communities that has a nice swimming pool, etc., etc., etc. That's, I'm telling you a small detail that we can even put it in our equation, let's say, before we provide a solution or options to our client. So right now, 
which are the best communities to invest in and is there a bad community there is a very important note i want to mention here there is never ever a bad time to buy a property that doesn't exist but there is a bad property that you can buy in any time so be careful for that never a bad time to buy property but there is always sometimes uh, there is always bad property in any time be careful for that please because what are the best properties there is always best properties everywhere shall i buy right now in the current market shall i buy ready or shall i buy off plan my answer for you in such market where we are right now in the current situation of the market will be always off plan why because right now the ready properties are on their highest right now if you are buying a ready property you are paying sometimes 50 even 100 percent appreciation to the current owner except only very few cases where there is an exception and i will talk about it in when you go off plan first of all you don't need to put all the amount directly right now in the current market okay there is payment plans and even some of the developers they are giving you post handover payment plan it means you are living in your own property you took handover of it and you are paying your installments for two years three years post handover in the beginning the booking will be we have so many great communities where the booking starts with five percent only from the value of the property and that doesn't compromise on the size doesn't compromise on the amenities and doesn't compromise on the quality of the materials that is being used in the community other than this shall i buy apartments for let's talk about investments shall i buy apartments or shall i buy uh, big villas uh, this is according to the budget according to what the client purpose of this investment so is your investment is at handover or one year post handover to resell the property then you are looking for capital appreciation biggest capital appreciation is happening in villas and townhouses okay let's say you cannot afford villas and townhouses and mansions then we have investor deals for re, uh, for apartments where you can pay the full amount at the start of the project but you will get a very favorable price sometimes for a studio it will be 100,000 dirham cheaper or if not 150,000 dirham cheaper than the actual studios that is being launched in the market because this is an investor deal so we have so many deals that can help our clients and satisfy our client needs in every type of real estate now many people will tell me what is the best area right now for investment in dubai and i see this sorry to say it it's a stupid comment that i see in so many videos the best area to invest in dubai there is there is no such thing because each investment case is different each investor is different each person needs are different and based on that the area will be perfect or not so right now what are the perfect areas the perfect areas is the areas that we look at in this way what are the commercial activities that is surrounding the area where that where i'm going to invest in that will feed in the future into my area potential tenants and potential buyers if i'm planning to sell the property post handover is the area uh, fully uh, how to say appreciated or it's still in the beginning this is very important point if the area is in the beginning this is a gold mine and dubai they don't open areas out of nothing like okay let's let's build there no they, they, it's not it's not like this dubai is a coastal city you have the first line which is here the sea you have the first line second line and third line now the first line is almost finished that's why dubai government they opened the uh, palm jabal ali which is double the size of uh, Palm Jumeirah and they invested so much into the south area why because the first and second line are most important and they are the closest to the sea in any coastal city all the people wants to live closer to the sea now other than the commercial activities what I look at we said 
uh, the um, area if it's appreciated uh, appreciated completely or there is still big room for appreciation now what are the master plan what does it have what type of properties are in the master plan what type of amenities are in the master plan what is the history of this developer that is building this master plan what is the price per square foot compared to the materials that is being used in the building compared to the sizes that is being offered in terms of plot and in terms of built up area all of these factors it cannot be taken in a vacuum how fast I can rent this property if I buy it and I get the handover some some people will tell you ah uh, invest uh, sorry uh, return on investment rate 10% perfect amazing let's say this is true how fast I can rent it because if it will stay in the market three four months and then it will be rented then my return on investment will never be 10% if the area is hot and I can rent and get return on investment 8%, that is much better than a promised 10% where my property will stay four, five months empty and then I will rent it for 10% of the, of the buying price. You are losing money here. You are not making money because there are times where your property is empty. So no, all these factors that I have counted earlier none of them can be taken in a vacuum separately all of them has to be merged in an equation and to be looked at and to be checked clearly and then we provide to our clients a list of properties that we consider are good for investment whether it's capital appreciation whether it's return on investment whether it's personal living whether it's all of, uh, like uh, two factors or three uh, two purposes of three or three purposes of this now what we are giving to our clients in terms of services that is an added value into what we are offering other than the analysis other than making sure that we are buying the property as if it's our own property not for someone else because when you are trusting your money with us it's like really our money it's not like just oh, sell them this sell them that it it's dangerous. It's uh, some, sometimes for people, this amount that they are buying with it, a studio, is all of their savings for the rest, for all their right, all their life till now. So that puts on us a big uh, responsibility to 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 give the clients a perfect property that will achieve everything that they are looking for. Now, what are the services that we are giving extra to our clients at the handover? we send an engineering team, a third party independent from the developer that will check in details, boring details, every piece of tile, every marble, every light, every plumbing section, every uh, cable of electricity, making sure that anything, anything that is going into the construction of your property is perfect. And they will create a snagging report that will be given to the handover team in case there is anything need to be rectified or fixed or uh, changed. And they will give a copy to you. This, it depends, it cost, it the cost of it varies. But for you, it's zero. We are handling this cost when you are buying from a developer. We are handling this cost because we get a commission from the developer. And part of that commission, we use it to give uh, some extra services to our clients add to that in terms of decoration if like you bought a big villa or even a small villa townhouse even an apartment and you want a decoration service for it you want a proper designer to look at the, the space imagine and understand your taste and give you a mood board and then provide you with a full detailed design for the property instead of it being white walls it will be like a signature uh, property this design we can also provide it for free while you are buying from developer and it's costly on us our our designer is not whatever designer she is she is italian an italian graduate she studied in italy her designs are beyond fantastic 
and it suits every type of taste because it's built on your requirements. It's not like only what she wants, it's what you want and how happy you feel inside your apartment. It's your requirement in the end, it's your home sweet home. That's we are giving also for free. All of that for us is an extra service and an extra cost that we are giving to our clients to make sure that we get your good words, your recommendation, your feedback, and we make sure that our relationship does not finish at all the moment you sign the project or the, the moment you sign the purchase agreement. This is not how we work and this is how we will never work. Because we know the real estate is a long game. We know that word of mouth and referral are the best type of marketing and the easiest type of marketing that we can do. And that's what we focus on always. This was my review today to the real estate market in Dubai in terms of prices, in terms of apartments, starting from studios, moving up into penthouses in Dubai. Don't listen to people who are telling you, oh, Dubai is very expensive to invest. Uh, you cannot afford in Dubai. No, 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 no. There is no such thing. On the contrary, Dubai is very, uh, how to say, it's very modern, modern. it's very clean. It's very nice in terms of communities. In each communities, you have school, you have hospital, you have clinics, you have uh, kids play areas, parks, etc. So it's very well serviced as a uh, communities inside the city. And the city, the city roads last year were better than the Swiss roads. So we are talking about an amazing infrastructure, amazing facilities, free beaches. So many free things that you can do in Dubai. We have six to seven months of amazing weather, guys. It's one of the best winters that you can have. Today, it should be raining a little bit. So in terms of the prices, the prices in Dubai for uh, studios, starting from 130 or $32,000, moving upwards to how much you want. In terms of uh, townhouses and villas, we can start from as low as 400 to 430 thousand dollars and you get a three-bedroom townhouse We are not talking about expensive properties, but in these prices you will get for example in terms of the studios Italian marble German appliances Italian doors fantastic bathrooms amazing uh, Amenities we're talking about salt water pool. We're talking about cinema Italian and techno gym in your building all of these stuff security 24 7 always clean always appreciating in terms of value 10 percent return on investment if not 12 all of these factors we are considering in the investment that we are telling you about and you are getting it really affordable i i want people in the comments or uh, who are talking to me that's what i always say challenge your agent I'm not the only available agent. If you are dealing with other agents, that's great. There are so many amazing agents are in Dubai. But at the same time, I ask you always to challenge your agent, recheck the information that you are getting from your agent. Don't take anything that I'm saying or someone else is saying for granted. As I told you, Dubai is very transparent and it's a city that is always showing to the world what they have. So you can check, you can go to Dubai Land Department website and check everything, every detail, nothing to be uh, hidden from you. Other than this, the announcement that I wanted to make, we are now in the end of the video. As you know, my, my channel used to be called M Show Properties in Dubai, which is Muhammad and my last name, I made it as Show, my last name is Shouk, and uh, Properties in Dubai. As you know, Gorilla Real Estate is my own agency. And right now I am changing the name of the channel into Gorilla Real Estate. This channel will be mainly in English language. Of course, I speak English and Arabic. Other, uh, the rest of my team, they can speak uh, German, Ukrainian uh, and uh, Russian. And uh, uh, of course, in, uh, we, we can even support other languages. We can support also Chinese. So in terms of 
uh, the diversity of languages that we can cover, we cover almost all the big languages uh, uh, that is available around the world. And from now on, this channel will be called Gorilla Real Estate. And uh, we have another channel that is also Gorilla Real Estate, but in Russian language. We are uh, port, uh, broadcasting videos that are in Russian language on that channel. I will leave the link in the description below in case someone who is Russian speaker and more comfortable in watching videos in Russian language, you can as well. This was our video for today. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I hope that you have got a lot of useful information in terms of like many people might ask me, uh, recommend for us best projects or what's the latest project right now. It, as I said, I will not recommend one certain project over the other. It all depends on your requirements, on what you need, and what is your target from your investment or from spending money on buying a property in Dubai. Take care. Please share, subscribe, and press the like button if you have enjoyed this video. And to watch more videos in the future about the amazing city of, uh, of Dubai, about how you can open business in Dubai, what are the mortgage rates in Dubai, and how you can get a mortgage, whether you can get a mortgage or not. We are meeting expertise in each industry, and we are trying to show the world how easy is it to invest in Dubai, and how you can deal with trustworthy agents and real estate agents in Dubai. Take care, have a great evening, see you soon.